If you ever find yourself foraging for food post-apocalypse, trust me, go for the honey. Anthony here for D News, and last week we talked about what kind of food we'll be bringing to Mars. And DJ025 commented, honey doesn't expire, so how about honey? And he's right, honey is a great space food. They actually bring it on the ISS already. And it's true that in most conditions, honey can last forever. Archaeologists have found pots of perfectly good honey in Egyptian tombs, thousands of years old, but you can dip your finger right in there and eat it, but I mean, Use a spoon if you're sharing with other archeologists. There are a couple secrets to honey's immortality. A bee grabs some nectar from a flower and swallows it, and an enzyme in its stomach called invertase breaks it down into a couple of sugars, glucose and fructose. And then it gets back to the hive, it regurgitates it up into its mouth, and spits it into a honeycomb. And here's where the magic happens. It adds another enzyme from its glands called glucose oxidase to that nectar mix that makes another two byproducts, gluconic acid and hydrogen peroxide. And then it flaps its wings over the mix until all the water's evaporated out of it. So honey, uh, number one, in addition to being bee vomit, has almost no moisture in it and small traces of hydrogen peroxide. And that makes honey a really rough place for any sort of bacteria or other destructive organisms to grow. Keep it sealed in a jar where no moisture can get to it and you've got something that'll last just about forever. You'll probably have to worry more about the jar breaking down than the honey. And those properties have also made honey popular throughout history as a medicinal substance. Civilizations as far back as the ancient Sumerians used honey to cover wounds. Not only does it keep the wound sealed and moisture from getting in, the honey also sucks moisture out of the wound, so nothing can get into it from that end. You can even buy bandages today that use a honey coating. Eating local honey also supposedly immunizes you from allergies. So the idea is that local bees use all of the pollen spores in your area that would make your allergies flare up when they're making their honey. And eating that honey introduces a very small amount of those substances into your body, which causes your immune system to respond and eventually build up your tolerance to them. Now, no formal study has been done to prove that, but Xavier University in New Orleans did a pretty in-depth informal study that showed it to work in their participants. On the flip side, honey can also contain some bacteria that causes infant botulism. So no one under a year old is supposed to eat it at all. Honey does not make immune super babies, just incredibly sick ones. Also, don't shake them. Babies, you can shake honey. So there you go, honey, a mostly immortal, mostly amazing superfood. We actually went on a trip out of the country recently. My fiance has these crazy allergies and she did say that she felt better after a couple of days of having local honey. But that also could have been due to her acclimating to the environment or just getting rested up. So I don't know, have any of you allergy sufferers out there tried it? And if so, did you feel any better? Let me know down below and subscribe for more D News.